At least eight people are in the Orange County Jail right now facing RICO charges as part of a major investigation. Yeah, the arrests appear to be linked to a violent gang feud involving guns, murders, and drugs that nine investigates first pieced together actually 10 months ago using court records. Investigative reporter Darlene Jones found out that two of the people arrested are the alleged leaders of the rival gangs, Darlene. Yes, Martha, and I went to the courthouse today trying to get details about these new RICO charges because investigators are not talking right now. The details are sealed, though, in court records, but I can tell you that it's in part because there are still targets of this major case who haven't been arrested yet. Take a look at the people you see here. All of them are now facing charges for racketeering or conspiracy to commit racketeering under the RICO Act. Cases designed to prosecute criminal enterprises. One of the suspects includes local rapper Glock 9, whose real name is Jaquavius Smith. The only public record signaling the seriousness of the charges is this notice directing the court to send all correspondence concerning the cases to statewide prosecutors. RICO charges are... Um designed to prosecute criminal enterprises. We first told you last September that investigators believed a feud between rappers Glock 9 and Hot Boy 438, whose real name is Javari Walker, set off a string of gun violence spanning from Orange to Osceola counties. Days after our investigation, the sheriff's office publicly acknowledged the gang problem and pleaded with the public for help. Some of the, uh, the homes that have been targeted are occupied or members of the 438 or Army gang will stay in those residences. We have been able to tie them back to members of the gangs. More court records confirmed for us last year that investigators believed Glock 9 and Von Sean Sands were the leaders of the respective gangs. We could never reach Sands for comment, but here is what Glock 9 told us then. I feel like they just saying I'm a leader, like they trying to say I'm a, I'm a gang leader, but I'm not no gang leader. I'm 20 years old. All these, all these behind me, all these people who they trying to say I'm leading is older than me. AFNF is an LLC that you created for your rap group? Yeah, it's like a label. It's like my bank. When, they, when, I, when I get paid through YouTube and all that stuff, my bank, is, it, that's when it come on the AFNF LLC. While investigators aren't talking about the specifics of this case, we can tell you that not even attorneys for some of these suspects have been able to get the arrest affidavits with details about the case because the file is 700 pages long. And here's what it'll likely include. This case and, and most cases like it will, in, will involve a tremendous amount of wiretap calls and will probably involve a tremendous amount of, of physical surveillance by law enforcement. And tracking the money to see if it was used to keep up the so-called enterprise. RICO charges can carry up to 30 years in prison. No one will say right now when we will get the full details of this investigation, but you can bet we will stay on top of this one.